All right, perfect. Not bad. Make a sips dictionary. What? Isn't that a visual bug? What this? These little bits here. No, I think it's actually. Um, I think it's actually breaking it. I think I can fix it like that, though. Yeah, see? Is it the fountains that it's making this sound of? I think. Concrete. Alright, we might as well do the rest of this stuff, too. Um, do we want to start digging some of this out? Get the water down here? Make a make a wider river. The river widening project. Why not? Let's get a full connection. Oh yeah. Chad, I like where this is going. I like where this is going. That's good. Okay, we gotta clear out the trash here too. Lots of bad guys. Kevlin's gonna need to be repaired soon. Let's run out of juice. I got the shield on because I thought we were going to get attacked by those raider dudes, but we did not get attacked by the raider dudes. It was okay in the end. So what happens at the bottom here? How, how low down will the water fall on each block? All the way down? Will it, it fill it up to infinity and beyond? It will stop right away. No, it hasn't stopped though. It's going down. It is going down. Kelp is found in ocean biomes and is super easy to grow and farm. Just plant kelp underneath and stack it up. It turns any water that isn't source blocks into source blocks. All right. Also, bone meal on the bottom of the lake grows seagrass. 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 What do I want seagrass for? Seagrass different to kelp? Hey, thanks very much, DMG Evan. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the tips. Thanks for all the hot, hot tips. Thank you for all the hot tips. Gravel. Yeah, let's pick up some more of this concrete. Come back for that one piece of gravel after. Let's make sure we got all this stuff. So we can finish this floor. Let's grow some seaweed. Yeah, we could have our own little, like... Maybe, maybe the research, the Underwater Ocean Research Institute of uh, Steve Zizu uh, will be here instead of out there. That'll just be an outpost instead. Maybe, maybe we're already working on the Underwater Sea Institute thing. We'll get some seaweed, yeah. We're going to make our own ocean biome right here on campus. We're gonna make our own. We're gonna make our own ocean biome on campus. I've decided. How does that? How does that strike you guys? What kind of stuff can I fill the lake with? 
I get kelp and stuff in there, will sharks and dolphins and stuff start spawning in there or not really? Can you make your own biome? You'll get drowned zombies. No, you can't. Puffer fish. I've got those pup, those captured pup for fish. Can I release them back into like, let's say I, I made like uh, this into like a gigantic, like cool looking aquatic tank that we could look at, like, you know, underneath all this, there could be hallways and stuff. And we could make like St Dr. Steve Zizu's underwater exploration thing. Can I release puffer fish back into it? You can release the fish in here. Nice, with like a bucket. You have to rename them or they despawn. Is that is that definitely a thing? With a glass bottom. Silk touch some turtle eggs too. What, so that we can get some turtles spawn in here. Guys, I'm liking the sound of this by the way. Like this is this is definitely something that I'm getting excited by. I really like that. Yeah, we're gonna make an aquarium, yeah. We're gonna make one. It sounds fairly poggy. Yeah, I think it sounds poggy. I like that. Black concrete powder and flint. Uh, I want to take that with me, but flint we can leave there. Okay. I'll keep the sandstone on me because I think we're going to do the surrounding bit with it. Sharks with freaking lasers on their heads and stuff too. Yeah, we could try. That would be pretty good. Okay, white concrete. Let's put in here just for now. Remind me that it's in there, chat. And this flesh can go in here for now too. But map 15, which is done. Don't really need to carry that around anymore. And then we want to do like the siding with this, right? Huh. Just put a sign on the chest. That won't that won't prompt me. I'll still forget. So what's the deal with this then? Oh, I still dig fairly fast. Even if I'm underwater. So we're going to have to go do a small adventure and get some stuff from an ocean biome. Like seaweed and stuff. We're going to have to grow some, some seaweed. And then we've got to dig this all out. We want the bottom to look kind of realistic though, so we're going to need like sea grass and stuff. But we can use bone meal at the bottom, somebody's saying, right? Add a secret alien military base a la Subnautica. Yeah, we could do something like that. I think that'd be kind of cool. We want to make, um, we want to get like some glass and stuff in and then close it off. How do I get water like... Uh, I guess if it doesn't fill with source, then I can just, like... I could probably just, um... How deep does it does it need to be, though? I think we want to make it kind of deep. We want to make it look really cool. Make an underground viewing gallery. Yeah, yeah, we're going to. That's going to be the center for aquatic research. What kind of villagers can we put in that um, building? Or do we need any down there? Make it really deep. Get some coral too. Does TNT work underwater? Is that a thing that we can do as well? And get some coral.
And chat, you guys are getting way too excited about this. Have you guys never done anything like this before in Minecraft? Is this like gonna be a world first? Man makes a fucking aquarium. Is that why you guys are getting so excited? We're going for a world first? First time. Alright. Let's do it, chat. Let's fucking do this. Let's get fucking busy. Alright, we're gonna need some cool music to help us start building this aquarium, though. Alexa, play Ocean Man, please. Ocean Man by Wing from Spotify. Ocean Man. Aquarium is gonna be nuts. We have to silk touch turtle eggs. Is that the only way that we get turtles in here? You guys see that or hear it? What was it? What was that? That was actual ocean man. All right. Okay, good. Lucky dodge for us then. Okay, cool. So this bit can come out. We gotta do a little bit of terraforming down here, but honestly, I think it's gonna look great when it's done. Oh shit, we didn't even put these stairs in or anything. We haven't actually finished this side of the fountain yet. Okay, I'll finish it right now. I'll go down and finish it right now. Right now! Ocean Man didn't have any fun, fun, fun though? No, you're right. He did not. That wasn't uh, Ocean Man's journey. Ocean Man did not want to have fun. He just wanted to do his own thing. I think we just want to turn all this stuff into sandstone. Sixty-two sandstones. So we want to turn this sandstone into stairs as well. I think that's enough stairs, probably. Should be okay. We can finish off that fountain on the side, and then we can think about getting stuff lined up or whatever. So we've got many many parts of the i the more I, I turn over and look at that the better i think it looks honestly i don't think it looks too bad especially when it's like uh completed i think it'll look great problem is though is that i always start stuff and i never complete it Except for these fountains, I just completed them. So that was something. We need to get like some um, 
lights in these fountains on the floor, like some glowstone or something would be good. Light them up from the bottom, you know? I think that looked really good. Let's just do that now while I've got the idea in my head. What day comes after Thursday? It's Friday, Friday. Everybody big it up I've for the weekend. I've sacrificed the fish in my aquarium in honor of your grand research facility. Right. It was a bit hard, watching them flop and gasp for air like that, but I did it. You did All it. All for you sips. Hey. Are you proud of me? I am, yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks for sacrifice. Yeah, thanks, Dimage Evan. Thanks so much for the donation, and thanks for your uh, service as well. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you very much. Just have a sleep here. What time is it? Yeah, it's almost quarter one. What the hell? Is this Subnautica? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Mm. How are we going to light up the bottom of the uh, fish tank as well? It's going to get dark down there, right? We're not going to be able to see anything, so we'll have to like try to light it up. We'll have to light it up, sweet cheeks. Whoops. Okay, this is my idea. This is Mr. Idea's big contribution here. He's going to put these things under here and we'll see what they look like lit up at night with some under lighting. I think that'll look great. Personally, but we'll see. No. Sea lanterns. Yeah, we could go get some. The sea biome is quite far away, but we're going to have to go get some stuff anyway. So we might grab some sea lanterns instead. But for now, we'll just use this glowstone, see what it looks like, and then change it over after. The sea lanterns light up more or something? They more designed for lighting up water? I guess they kind of are, yeah? Sea lanterns look... I guess the sea lanterns will look better underwater because they are, they're different color right they're like a like a bluish color they look prettier okay we'll get a whole bunch of sea lanterns for underneath the water then as well that'll be fine okay so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna close this one off this will be the first tank of hopefully many okay it's a fairly sizable tank um we're just trying to find our feet with this a little bit first right and then if this one works out then we'll make an even bigger one it's gonna line up yeah gonna look really good that's gonna look great isn't it holy shit i can't wait i can't wait to come out here and just look at this cool thing that we're gonna make here it's gonna be it's gonna be nice gotta get sidetracked so easily what was i meant to be working on instead uh, now i'm doing this What's happening here? Oh, it's, it's all messed up again, chat. Just when you thought it was it was a solid. Turns out, no, it's not a solid. We're gonna have to place some blocks down, even this all out. Like that, it'll even it all out, right? Okay, that's evened it out. What the hell? Why is this like square here missing though? It doesn't make any sense. Some dirt in here too. Excuse me. 
Wait, will stuff just spawn in here? Will 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 sea life spawn in a big natural tank like this? <laughs> I'm a conservationist at heart. Can't you tell? The fuck? <laughs> just like kill a squid. Depends on the biome. I killed the only squid in existence. You're doing great, Dad. Ah, more will spawn. I'll be fine. We'll get some more. It'll be absolutely fine, right? Do we want to have like a a way in here? I don't mean closing it off a little bit though. Maybe we don't. Maybe it's just like we just look at it from here. We don't have to like get in there. Can you do like an airlock or something? So that we can we can go in and swim around in there if we need to. Yes. What, with just like a door? Any door will do it. Alright, okay, cool. Water can't pass through a door. Doesn't the water knock a door down? Or am I thinking of something else? Good news. You are now allowed to die. <gasps> Breath Edge chapters 2 and 3 just got released. Nice! Each chapter is three times as big as the first release, and you can now build your own stations Subnautica style. There will be chapter 4 and 5 too, but not for one to two years. Viper7, thanks for the donation. Thanks for the update as well. Fuck. Man, I like that game a lot, too. I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted. Okay, when we die, we'll play it, okay? We'll play Breath Edge as soon as we've died in this. I'll go out of my way to try to get myself killed, too, a couple times, all right? Just to... Just to expedite the... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I wouldn't do that, but I'm tempted. I am tempted. All right, so the, so the water is all sorted out now, right? It's not like leaking or anything anywhere. It's nice and still. So we, now we can just start digging down and figuring out what we want to do. I guess the I guess what we're going to want to do is do the glass from the inside here, right? So let me go start getting some glass made. We want just the um just the normal glass. We want like um we don't want panes, right? We want like the solid glass blocks. I think We need lots of it too. Okay, that should be enough, I think, right? Stone and dirt, a bit of sand. Turn that into black dye. Wait. Stone. Okay. Good. You're doing great, Dad. Hey, thanks very much, Big Ben Swole. Thanks for the 500 bits. Hey, Stacks. Thanks for the 500 bits as well. Make an underwater viewing gallery. Yeah, yeah. We're going to make one right now. Well, not right now, but we're trying. We're going to try to make one, which means that we're going to have to carve out uh, some hallways and stuff down here, too. So for the underwater viewing gallery. We're going to have to light it all up and stuff too. How deep are we going here? Seven? Seven high or so? Maybe more? Twenty? I have to get some lanterns and stuff. I have to make a trip out to the ocean, the ocean. Let's 
it's not high enough yet. Go deep. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna try going deep. Why are fish so clever? Because they're always in schools. Oh, I found some um, clay. Found a whole bunch of clay down there. That's nice. All right. Get some puff back. Why are fish so clever? Hey, haystacks! Thanks so much for the bits, man. And thanks for the uh, for the joke as well, because they're always in schools. I'll tell that one to my kids. They'll love it. Hi, Sips. Been subbed for 50 months. Wow, wow. That means I get VIP, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Hey, no problem. Also, I made a Mr. Ideas emote for you. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, I will check it out. Thank you very much, Sam9742. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. Bedtime. Everybody's going to bed for bedtime. Party and party and fun. Party and party and fun. The Sips pay to win confirmed. Yeah. That's me. You got it. I think what we'll do is the viewing gallery won't be like at floor level right we want it to go a little bit deeper so that you can view out and then see so like it'll go deeper but the viewing gallery will stop at a certain point right just in case we want to get some big reaper leviathans in there and some big eggs big fucking eggs all right so we're gonna have the bottom layer here come after three. Like that. Okay, and then that's going to be glass under there. Once the glass is ready. And then we can and then we can build it from the other side, right? Oh shit. That's very low. Very low on the on the on the um, oxygen there. Friday was a party in the USA. Everybody's having a party in the USA. Okay, that'll be the size of the glass, I think. Let's go see if there's any glass. We can start putting it in. Then we can start digging out the other side, which will take a little while for our viewing gallery. And then we have to figure out how we're going to connect it up. We might have a we might have a train that goes down there. We have to also be careful that it doesn't impact on the sorting system. We could maybe have the hallway branch off of this or something instead. We'll see. So we're we're starting to like get into the realms of making like a big university complex with like underground tunnels and stuff too. Fun, 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 fun. Look out for the fun. Okay, let's see. Oh look, we got some more squids. We love it in here.
glass has like water in it. You place it. Look, there's like it looks like there's like a little bit of water inside each one. gonna look so cool I think that's gonna look great chat once you start building behind it and stuff I stole your design <laughs> did I? I promise I'm not looking up a design for an aquarium on on the internet. I promise you, I'm not. I was tempted to, but... No, I would never do that. Not for this. Not not, not for this work of, work of art and beauty, right? You don't need to. Shame! Come on. It's a bit early to be shaming me. No? Hey, my wife has just got back. My son is back at school today, but my daughter has um, not started nursery yet. She's got like a open day thing tomorrow, and then um, then she goes on Monday. She's actually gonna go to school. Can you believe it? She's old enough now to go to school, to nursery school. It's not even real school. They just play all day, but still. Time flies, eh, chat? was going to school, yeah. She's on her way. That's right, she was born around the time uh, Overwatch came out, right? I couldn't wait for Overwatch to come out and play it. Things change, don't they? <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck, I hate that game. It could have been so good, too. It could have been so good. What the hell were they thinking? glass. I guess this is probably the best way to do this, right? And then we dig out on the other side so we don't have to worry about water coming in all the time. And then when we're ready for a door, we can just smash a window and just put a door there and that can be like the airlock or whatever, right? Kevlin needs to be repaired badly too. I remember watching you plop trees in Jazzland your early days while waiting for your wife to call you any time for your daughter's delivery. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that would have been that would have been about right actually. Yeah, that's crazy. Do we want like um there's no penguins in this, are there? Are there penguins in Minecraft? Do we want to make like a penguin island or anything? No, there's not okay. Just checking. And who needs uh, Planet Zoo? We're just doing our own Planet Zoo in, in here. We're making our own zoo. The zoo of Dr. Steve Zizu. Zizu. We're making a Zizu. So what is it that we need? Kelp. We need to start growing some kelp. To have some healthy water. It'll fill up all the blocks of water that aren't 
water or whatever. That's right, isn't it? Am I making a, an aquarium? Yeah, I'm making an aquarium now. We decided to make an aquarium. With an underwater viewing gallery as well. It's going to be nice. Difficult working underwater though. It's slow. Especially because I don't understand why he like goes all snake like like this sometimes. Is it because I'm swimming? Why does my guy turn into a snake at times? Because of the swimming. Oh, guys, that's going to look great, isn't it? You think we want it to be sandstone all around like that? Probably, right? So we want to finish... We want to do... We want to enclose the tank before we start digging out the... Uh, the walls, right? The walls on the other side, the hallways. We'll have some hallways and then we'll have like uh, some other rooms and stuff too. But maybe we can have like a, a like a minecart that goes around, does like a tour, does a tour of the, and then we can have like the faculty building down there too. We need some nerds to, but we can put fishermen down there. It makes sense, right? We can, put, we can put some fishermen down there. And then we can make a nice fishing pier for them and stuff as well, too. And have, like, separate fishermen. I attempt you with the dad anthem, kickstart my heart, possibly your new mining song. A minecart underwater. Yeah, we're going to make a... It's not going to go underwater. It's going to go down to this viewing thing. But, yeah, maybe we could have one that goes underwater, too. That'd be nuts. We'll think about it. What's that noise? Does it sound like somebody knocking on a door? So I think at the bottom we just want sand and dirt. And then we'll put some bone meal down there to get some of this cool seaweed on the sand and stuff. And then we'll get some kelp and shit too to make it look a little bit more realistic. We're gonna have we're making a a tank for our own Minecraft Bill Murray. We're doing it, chat. It's gonna take forever though. Look how long it takes to do all this stuff underwater. Glass tunnel. Glass tunnel to glass the dome in the center. Oh, but like a little like, like, like they do with like a meerkat enclosure. So you can like walk seemingly right into the middle of the enclosure and you're just standing in a little glass dome thing. You need aqua affinity, yeah. Why didn't I make the hole first? Whoa. What, the hole that's, like the tunnel that's going to go on the other side of the viewing gallery? Um... I don't know. I mean, I guess I could start digging it out. I just don't know where it's going to connect up to. 
I think it's gonna potentially connect up to the sorting room, the big sorting room. You need a shark tunnel? Oh, the sea hole. Oh, you mean empty it out and then um, and then fill it with water after. I mean, I could do that too. How long is it going to take us to fill it all up with water though? It's going to take forever. Dig from the bottom up. Empty out my sea hole. This is a Dorset Serials Music Chat now. It would take a long ass time and it would kill the fish too. Yeah, you're right about that. It would kill the fish. Let's get like one wall here done and then we can start working on the tunnel on the other side. It shouldn't take too long. We're going to have to go down to the mob spawner though or go to the nether and grab some quartz. Repair Kevlin here. on one side. Muesli, man. That's me, yeah. So this is all going to be glass here. Oh, it's going to look so cool under here. Because like it, it's like a dark under there too, right? It's going to look really neat. And when we start filling it up with like kelp and fish and shit like that, mm, it's going to be a pretty big tank. Just reach that too. Perfect. Ah? Chat, look what I've done. I don't even think we need the glass. We probably need the glass, realistically. Oops. I'm digging into the other side here. like a perfect wall of water but now if I stay on this side here look I can mine all this up from this side and it'll go faster and I just got XP from something I don't know what we don't want Kevlin 2.0 to break though So good. That's great. Oh, that's gonna look really neat. And hopefully it does join up with the um with the room. The uh sorting room. Oh I see. It's like a it's like a it's like a visual glitch. It's a glitch in the in the in the matrix. All right, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory, so let's go put this stuff away. Placing a door underwater also helps a lot. Try it. All right, is that for when we go into the um, the ocean biome? We need to take a door with us. Gravel, sand, dirt, sand, sand, andesite, sandstone we'll hang on to though. And then we got some clay, flint, some more ink sacks. Clay, I don't really have anywhere to store right now. So I'll just put it in there. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> so many of them up there. Let's take the rest of these steaks. We need more diamonds, don't we? Uh, emeralds, sorry. We need some emeralds. Okay, we'll go down here. Off we go! We need a Sipscon. And a Terrycon. You might be right, chat. Maybe we need both of those things. Is this gonna just be a bath plug in a dildo convention? Hopefully. With any luck, yes. Great. Okay, let's take this bad boy with us. Tell the bath plug story. Once upon a time in a far away land lived a beautiful princess and she had a beautiful young handsome hunky um, prince who um, live streamed video game footage on the uh, internet for a living. That's how he made his millions. Anyway, one day uh, the handsome young prince, very attractive and hunky as well, uh, decided after a long day of live streaming video game footage on the internet, he was going to have himself a royal bubble bath in his brand new bath that was plated in gold and commissioned by um, the princess as a commemorative uh, monument to how young and hunky and handsome the prince was. So, anyway, the prince uh, took off his prince robe and his shining armor and put it up on the peg in the bathroom. And, Alexa, play some uh, medieval folk music. Playing medieval folk music on Amazon Music. And the prince took his armor off and hung it up on a peg in the bathroom and got his manservants to fetch him some boiled water from the water boiling area in the castle and fill up his royal gold plated tub. Uh, while he's waiting for the royal uh, boiled water to make its way up to the tub, the young handsome prince um, admired his Ferrari collection because he's a Twitch streamer. Anyway, once the manservants came upstairs with his boiled water, Alexa, fast forward by like a minute. Sorry, I'm not sure. Anyway, once the manservants came upstairs to the royal bathroom with the boiled water, they put it into the tub, and the young, handsome, hunky prince climbed into the tub and began his royal soak. Alexa, forward 20 seconds. Alexa, forward two minutes. The handsome young hunky prince was having a royal soak in his hot steamy royal bath that was plated in gold and he was thinking about his uh, Porsche and Ferrari collection and he was thinking of all the ways that he could bait his peasants into donating more money to him uh, by asking questions and, um, and things like that. He had his eyes closed and there was some sweat forming on his royal brow as he lay in the bathtub um, thinking about stuff and things. Anyway, the royal prince finished up 
his royal steamy bath. He stood up and he demanded that his manservants dry him off with a fan. He took the regal pose, stood in the tub, the regal pose, and the fan dried him off. Alexa, forward two minutes. Alexa, forward two minutes. Alexa, forward 30 seconds. As the royal prince stood there in his regal pose inside his bathtub and was being air dried by his manservants, um, he then noticed that his feet were still wet because the tub was still filled with royal steaming water. He then barked at his favorite manservant, Randy, to pull the royal plug to let the water out so that the peasants could begin uh, drying his royal feet. He heard a lot of groaning and moaning coming from below him all of a sudden, and he looked down to notice that Randy was struggling to get the royal plug out of the tub. Alexa, forward one and a half minutes. Alexa, forward two minutes. Alexa, forward three minutes. Alexa, next. Alexa! Do you play, like, some medieval loot music? Alexa, next. Fucking chanting music, like, all the time. What the hell was I up to in the story, even? Christ. Just want, like, some, like, Hearthstone-style tavern sort of music. Alexa? Next. Here we go. This is better. Right. As the young, handsome royal prince was standing and receiving his air drawing, um, he looked down upon Randy and berated Randy and said, Randy, the hell is your problem? Get the royal bath plug out. I'm ready for my manservants to dry my feet. Randy, quivering, looked up and said, <laughs> My lord! I'm sorry, my lord. I, I can't seem to... I can't seem to get the royal bath plug out, my lord. The royal prince looked down upon Randy with a scowl of disgust and uh, furiously screamed at Randy to remove the royal bath plug for he was ready for the water to leave his royal feet and have uh, his feet... Dried by his peasants and manservants uh, alike. Anyone who was willing to do it. At that point, he was desperate. Randy knew that uh, it, this it was not a safe place for him to be in all of a sudden. He felt quite uh, concerned for his safety. Uh, and um, proceeded to then tell the royal prince that he still was having some trouble getting the bath plug out. But maybe... 
Maybe if we put like some grease in the tub or something, it would loosen it up and then manservant... Alexa! Next! Alexa! Play some medieval tavern music! Playing medieval tavern music on Amazon Music. Alexa, forward 25 seconds. Anyways, sorry, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Manservant Randy offered up a suggestion to the royal prince. He said to the royal prince, My lord, maybe if we were to put some chicken grease into the, into the tub, we can loosen up the plug. Uh, the royal prince laughed heartily at this idea and said that he was uh, not going to leave the tub until the royal plug had been pulled and his manservants were able to properly dry off his feet because the royal prince was worried about getting athlete's foot. Anyway, um, the royal prince then said to Randy, Randy, my manservant, my faithful manservant, if you're unable to take the royal plug out, I will have to execute you by order of the royal um, proclamation of the land. To which Randy said, me lord, I'm so sorry, me lord. I can't get this bath plug out. And before Randy knew it, his head was chopped off in the tub by one of the other manservants, as per the royal proclamation of the land. Um, and to this day, they found um, they found the ruins of the castle where this handsome young prince lived in the medieval times and his bathtub, and uh, they found a skeleton standing up in a regal pose with uh, a dead, a, a, what looked like a dead man at his feet, um, and there wasn't any more water in the tub, it was just like sludge, it turned into like a bit of like sludge, it was kind of like a shitty stain like on the bottom of the tub, and it baffled historians Listen for to centuries. Listen to some tavern music. Alliance WoW Terror music. Alexa, play World of Warcraft Alliance Tavern music. Here's some music for you based on the tavern. World of Warcraft Terror version by Julio Capone and Amazon Music. <laughs> Anyway, the historians were baffled. They didn't know what the hell was going on, and that's the end of the story. Fuck me. You can't even get some decent loot music playing. Like, what is this? What? This is some Harry Potter shit right here. I, this isn't what I signed up for. I want some fucking loot music. Alexa, play me some loot music. This is where the credits for the movie run at the end of that ditty. The story of the man, the king whose bath plug didn't come out. It's the, the credits, the end credits. I wish this was on Twitch Sings. That would have been a good one, right? It would have been a nice one for Big Rips to do.
Rogaine. Do, 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 do. When you run out of hair and it's not because of Nair, Rogaine. Do, 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 do. We'll do a remix about hair loss to this song, okay? About Rogaine. I don't know why people put that on their head. Honestly, it's got like fucking like, uh, it, it, it has like heart medicine in it. <laughs> what about looting? Yeah, I know, well, uh, Alexa just doesn't want to play ball. She just does not want to play it. That would be awesome. And horse jizz, yeah. Put horse jizz. If you're all out of jizz and you need a cool do for the dance, Rogaine. Do do, do do. If your dad's balls are empty and he's got no more jizz for your hair, Rogaine. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, I want to listen to some medieval tavern loot music. I couldn't find any medieval tavern loot songs. Just use Google myself. The loot music DLC. Yeah, I know, right? Alexa, describe to me the musical instrument loot. Nice. Nice. Just in case you were ever wondering. That's enough. That is enough. Christ. Man. Hammer time? Stop hammer time? Alexa, what is MC Hammer up to these days? Here's something I found on Wikipedia. Stanley Kirk Burrell, better known by his stage name MC Hammer, is an American hip-hop recording artist. Dancer, record producer, and entrepreneur. Did that answer your question? No. Thanks for your feedback. No problem. 
Can I ever see the video of Hendrix playing the Star Spangled Banner with his loot? <laughs> no, never seen that one. Is that the one where he lights his guitar on fire and then plays it with his teeth? Man, that guy was new showmanship, right? Unlike some people, no names mentioned, fucking Alexa here. Um, yeah, at least Hendrix knew how to wow a crowd. You ask her a question, she just doesn't fucking know the answer. Or she just plays the wrong shit. Imagine that. Imagine you pay good money to go to a con a, a concerto. <laughs> and they just play all the wrong shit. God damn. What a wild and crazy world we live in. Yeah. What a legend he was. Alice Cooper knows showmanship. Yeah, I think he does. You're right. I think Alice Cooper knows what's up when it comes to showmanship as well. Novigrad theme from The Witcher 3. Was that a good one, was it? I don't remember much of The Witcher 3 music. What were some good ditties from The Witcher 3? The daddest of dads. I've got a true beauty for you. Just tell her to play on the floor by Ice... Well, knowing Alexa, she just play the wrong thing. So there's no point. There's not. There's no point. Is this a bit more fixed? Yeah, it is a little bit. Okay. Let's go see if we can go to the Nether for a bit. Grab some Nether quartz as well. Of course, I don't have any of the stuff that I need here, but it's fine. Let's get this shield up. Shields up, Mr. Sulu. Fix it this way. It'll probably be quicker, right? And then we can get more of this, more of the white stuff. The white stuff. This noise, don't they? I hear lava close by. I'm too scared. All right, let's grab this stuff to you. Out of the way, Mister. How's that looking? Better? All of our um, gear is repaired, so that's pretty good. Um, oh god, there's fucking nether quartz everywhere. I kind of hate coming to the nether though, it's spooky. I always feel like I'm just about to, on the verge of dying every time I'm here. A little bit there too. Just a little tiny bit though. I'm doing it all for the XP. I love the music in the nether, it's my absolute favorite. Really? The, the music in the nether does not quite do it for me. Isn't there like a bit that goes down here? Oh yeah, it's right here. There's a lot more music in the nether than there is in the other world, right? You get music so sporadically 
in the in the upper world or the overworld or whatever they call it. You guys see that? Massive rubber banding. It's slowly repairing. Slowly. Think these Minecraft songs are on Twitch sings? More lyrics than Cars by Gary Newman? The music fits classic Doom. Friday. heathens I'm trying to do some mining that oh my god we almost died that was very nearly it take ladders I don't think they work in the nether I think they catch fire Jesus that was close. Man, that could have ended so differently, right? If we didn't hit that little ledge. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh fuck, is that where it fell? That was puckered butthole right there. Man, that was puckered butthole right there, you're right. That was the ultimate butthole puckering. Just because I'm lazy and I want XP. This is why I'm here. Getting XP from Nether Quartz. It's too dangerous. It's just too dangerous, right? Watch out for all these little holes. Yes, please leave. <laughs> Oh hey God. Sips, I got this text last night. Are you proud dad? This girl from Tinder sent me the following. Right. Quote, hey, so I know it's probably too soon for you to be going out with someone new. But I'd like to take you for coffee sometime when you are ready, unquote. Dr. Fritz? Sounds promising. She wants to take you out for coffee? Man, free coffee. That's amazing. That's amazing, Dr. Fritz. Go for it. Never turn down a free coffee. You think it's a threat? Free fucking coffee, though. Man, that's incredible. That is incredible. I want to take you out. Oh, I want to take you out. I see what you mean. You guys think that maybe that's a threat? Like, you mean, she, like, I want to kill you? Uh oh, Dr. Fritz. I don't know who you'd contact about that. Is there like an, an internet sleuth that could help you or something?
Do you know of any internet sleuths that might be able to help you with that? With like some threats? Look at this play. Look at this XP play with the with the thing in the I don't know if that actually worked, to be honest. Okay, let's go put some stuff. Guys, I have to go for my lunch. Because I think my lunch is uh, is going to be ready in a minute. Well, actually, I think it's just a sandwich. Um, but I'm hungry. But also, I have to pee so bad. It's crazy. And uh, it didn't help that I, I almost actually pissed my pants when we almost died in there. That was crazy. Man, I was not expecting that to, uh, to happen at all. We got a lot of flesh from downstairs, though. So we can get some emeralds when I get back. And then we can get this stuff. Uh, processed as well, right? All right, listen, uh, let me take a break. Uh, I'm going to go have my lunch and I'll be back in like 10 15 minutes and then we will carry on uh, Maybe we won't go back to the nether though because I almost died for the second time uh, in there Case yourself in the tiny hole down in the zo zo zombie spawner while I'm afk. Pardon me. I burped while I was saying that um, No, it's I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it um, listen uh, I'll put some music on for you. Uh, enjoy the music and I'll be back uh, 